And welcome everyone here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Bilgewater decks today. All of our decks, call this like Bilgewater day, all of our decks have at least a little bit of Bilgewater in it. We got two Fizz decks. We're going to start with Fizz Fiora. This deck, um, I'm honestly not expecting it to be real good because it's probably going to be pretty inconsistent. We are relying on either having Fizz or Fiora, one of our two champions, and then, you know, playing the standalone uh, game plan and, and protecting that champion um, and trying to win the game with, with one of those champions. You know, the, this game plan with Fiora and Zed normally. The thing is, is I think this is going to be prob most likely will be a worse version of that deck because um, Zed can end games really fast. And then you also get the other um, elusive units in Ionia that are really good. We don't really have that here. We're going to be really relying on Fiora and Fizz. But Fizz should be fun. This should be a fun card to play. So, you know, it's, it's this one mana, two, one. We can cast any spell to be able to give Fizz elusive and stop all enemy spells and skills targeting me. So, you know, like we, we want to be able to play burst speed spells um, either just proactively just to give Fizz elusive and then attack or for protection. So a card like Pilfered Goods doesn't seem like it would normally work in like a deck like this, like where you're trying to just um, support your stuff all the time. Hey, Toasted. But I think Pilter Goods could be good here because it's a two mana burst spell speed, um, burst speed spell. I, I always switch those two words, sorry. It's a two mana burst speed spell that is basically a counter spell whenever they're trying to target your Fizz. You know, like they target your Fizz with something and then boom, just in response, you, you cast Pilfer Goods, you counter that spell, and then you also just draw a card. So that's pretty good. So it's, it's you know, like a deny plus draw a card for protecting Fizz at two mana. Um, <clears throat> besides that, um, our only other real threat, because like Blade Keeper is not really a threat by itself. So the only other threat that we have in here is Zap Sprayfin. Um, and this is a, you know, this gives us the elusive body. This is basically our um, Shadow Assassin. Gives us the 2-2 elusive. When it enters the battlefield, draw a card. Um, it costs one more mana, but it does have a tune. So it will um, refill one spell mana. Um, got a couple of judgments to go with the Fiora for decks that are going wide. Um, you know, this new card, Pocket Aces, also can protect fizz and it's a permanent buff of plus two plus one wanted to try that out yeah this deck's very very fragile and uh yeah that's just kind of how it is but wanted to play a a tempo kind of mono blue style um uh you know protect fizz and and just kind of go all in on fizz we're all in on fizz all in on fiora all right, so we're back to Ranked. Ranked was not available yesterday because they were resetting it, and now it is reset, so we are at Platinum 4. Got to get back up to Masters. All right, we got our Fiora. That's good. Do I want a Mulligan Zap Sprayfin? That's the card that I'm considering mulliganing. I think I want, want the Fiora and the protection. I'll just keep it, but... I, you know, like if we, you know, after playing a few games, if we see that, you know, there's a chance that we need, maybe you should uh, mulligan them. Just in case something happens to our Fiora. Man, I'm super excited about this being out on mobile now. Last night before before going to bed, and, um, before going to sleep, while just in bed, I just did you know an expedition draft. That was really cool, just being able to draft like that while laying down and relaxing. No prey, no pay. By my honor, you must die. Batter him! Fresh out of mercy. Eat up, friend! I should have played the Fiora. We'll be fine. 
Yeah, mobile does run really well, yeah. It's smooth. Should have mulliganed the zap spray fin and looked for more protection. That's a good card. Seven mana. I'd like to have like Blade Keeper and Repost this turn. Oh gosh, but Repost doesn't even work. I'm definitely going to have to just kill this Misfortune. And then this will um, get rid of my Spray Fin. So if I want to get rid of their Grizzled Ranger, I got a Radiant Strike. Also... Use a lot of resources. Or not much. They have a better battlefield and they have just as many cards in hand. That 4 1 is incredible. That dies and makes a 4 4. That card's incredible. Grizzled Ranger. And then Misfortune was good too. I probably should have killed the Misfortune before. Ooh. Um, what is Fizz really doing? Fizz isn't, <coughs> isn't very good against Challenger. Cast three more spells before Fizz levels up. Gosh, I'm at five. Blockers. Hmm. All right, we're only playing just a couple of uh, small uh, allies. The challenger stuff's really tough. Okay, nice. CDN dude, you were six one with the with the undying deck that we played yesterday. Today before the stream. Awesome. Love it. Yeah, that, that deck's really good. That that four one Grizzled Badger or yeah, Grizzled Badger. Whatever, that, that four one is awesome. Alright, so we're playing a deck of, like, all removal. 
That's probably bad for me. Like it's it's too risky playing Fizz and not having protection for the Fizz. Like playing it last turn. Come on, now play a now play a spell to try to kill Fizz. Let me pilfer goods. Still want to pilfer goods and just draw two cards from their deck. Then they could have a one mana spell and kill Fizz. Oh well, it's still worth it. That's really nice getting a salvage. I should stop that, right? Yeah. That's pretty awesome. Because they, you know, if that, that thing technically targets, so it, it levels up Ezreal, so since it technically targets, Fizz stops it. They need to change that card, by the way. That card should not work like it does. Aggressive, elusive, but because I have this pil pilfered goods, I want to turn on. I'll take that. I'll take that too. They have a good deck for me to get new cards from. Deal two to three random enemies now. Because of powder keg. I'm always up for a round or two. Not four out of six. this fizz all right I could like instead of one of these uh, turns out this one is targeting that instead of one of those I could could salvage, you know, for like that extra two mana and draw two. You know, you don't know what you're targeting with that make it rain before it happens. But oh well, this will level up the fizz. Oh, is that only gonna do one damage now? Okay, yeah, no, that does two damage, okay. 
Okay, so so single combat doesn't get affected. Sweet, leveled up Fizz. Now I can stand alone. And like with this two mana, if they have a two damage thing, they can't, you know, doesn't kill it because of the toughness. They have to have three damage to kill Fizz, and they probably don't have something that, that's two mana deal three. There is the, the new card that's two mana deal three, like whenever you draw it this turn. Standalone. Make it elusive. Let's go. And then we're going to Nexus Strike, create a Chum the Waters. Yeah, the animations are so sick in this game. When I was playing the Ash deck, I cast the Crystal Arrow to set up the kill, and they used Will to bounce the target to counter it, and still goes off even without the target being there. We're both surprised the card works that way. Yeah, I, I've ran into that before also. I was really surprised it works that way too. It still does the, the you know, the second and third parts. All right, so I can do Chum the Waters, but I think it's probably better for me just to draw two. To look for more protection. Um, well, maybe it's better just to Zap Spray Fin. Actually. Can't say no to Fizz. Oh crap, they actually leveled up Twisted Fate. Yuck. I probably should have done something about that Twisted Fate before. So, nine mana. Finding details is my duty. The, the key thing here is that when you do this, it stops all enemy spells and skills targeting me, so not it doesn't stop our things that are targeting the Fizz. That's important, of course. Ezreal's still at zero? Are you kidding me? No, it fizzles the spell. Like, Static Shock does not hit the second target. No, like, it... it it, it's like deny basically um, you know like they earlier they tried to do the two mana deal one damage to three different things we played something and fizzled that spell yeah that thing like the make it rain
We can't tell what that's gonna target, but yeah, so like this should relentless relentless pursuit should fizzle this. This make it rain. It's done. Busted. 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 Take that, Ezreal. Alright, we're actually playing that Ezreal deck up next. Twisted Ezreal. That's sweet. It's, this deck's not going to work all the time, but when it does work, it is crazy. <laughs> That's insane. Oh, it does show the targets after it's locked in? Okay, so it was showing the three. So it was showing Fizz as a target? Okay. I just kind of thought it highlighted everything, but maybe it just highlighted, because I had three things, maybe it just highlighted like those three things and didn't highlight me. All right. I mean, we're all in on Fizz again. Okay, so yeah, it does show after after you cast it, it does show. Uh, yes, I can. I can do what I want. Where do you stand on cold shots? I guess I could have done that attacking. The world's a big place. Let's see all of it. Um I don't want to cast the standalone right now because if I don't cast anything, I waste one mana. And I don't want to waste one mana. So I just want to cast that right now. Hey, Blade, what's up? Get him, Fizz. Get him, Fizz. Wow, blocking, chump blocking with Ezreal. Already. Chump blocking with Ezreal. Oh, I'm loving the release. Yeah, these, these decks are sweet. All right, what's our spell? Oh, the Playful Trickster. Could rally some more, but we got to remove our own thing from combat for that. So I need to cast three more spells to level up Fizz. I kind of want to just cast Pursuit, Pocket Aces, Radiant Strike, level up.
Jump the waters. <laughs> Here, Sharky, Sharky. do this. So I can stop. Like I could I could remove the fits from combat and then be able to attack again. But it's like, what's the point? We're just going to remove from combat attack again. It's the same thing. Wait, what? How did that not stop all enemy skills and spells and skills from targeting it? Wait, what? How did we not stop that thing? What? Oh, Fizz wasn't targeted. It was just stunned the biggest thing. Oh, I, so I needed to do Trickster. Uh, uh, lesson learned, I suppose. Lesson learned. You know, now we're probably dead. That was... Yeah, that was... Yeah, that was... That's... That was vital. Obvious, obviously. Um... That doesn't do anything. Who has the serpent? I should have just gave it. I should have just gave it elusive and then attacked him. Like, what am I doing? I should have just done that. Hey, what's up, Moxie? Things are going good. Yeah, things are going good. I thought you'd never ask. Thanks for stopping by. Well, I feel like I would have won this game, like I could have won this game, but I messed it up. Mess this one up. Yeah, I didn't realize that the whole Fizz wasn't targeted. Still, soak it in. Let's do this.
Hmm. You know, like right now they can block with the one two, which I don't want them to, obviously. I can play like this pilfered go goods first. And then it's elusive, but then I don't have the mana for this trick this playful trickster. Feel like I may need to do this playful trickster. Stack in the eye. I guess the trickster doesn't really matter because it's just going to be stunned anyway. Man, this this gold card has just been crazy good. Yeah, this has just been crazy good. Dang. Now I wish I would have done that before. to draw like a burst speed spell basically to give this elusive to be able to block Ezreal how many cards are they drawing what is going on what is going on well, just, just a whole bunch of pick a cards draw three fleetings It's lethal no matter who I block. Alright, well, I messed that game up. Like, that was... I needed to give the... Like... Oh, I don't know, because they still stun it anyway. So I don't know I don't know what I was supposed to do, honestly, because they still stun. Once that, once that Twisted Fate leveled up, I, I don't know what I was supposed to do. Um... What do you mean they're losing at round six? What do you mean, Scrub Lord? They're losing at round six. Oh, just like turn six? Like your games are over? No, that's... I mean, that's not it. It's not... Yeah, I mean, turning this thing to elusive and trying... I mean, they, they would just keep on stunning. You know, like, they would... It's like, we we couldn't really do anything. Even if we make this elusive first, like, they, they would still use their Twisted Fate to stun my my thing. Like, how how Twisted Fate kept on stunning the biggest card, like, that's that's exactly what my deck's about, is making a, a large card. So I don't, I don't know if there was anything I could really do about that. What's up, Balding Yeti? Yeah, absolutely. We got a, a brand new set that came out yesterday. Darn it. <laughs> well, that's that's a killer. See, that card just cost two mana for, for that turn, and so I was, like, incentivized to play it right then, and, of course, we got really punished for doing that. That pocket aces. That really hurt. So, I mean, we played against that, that uh, Twisted Fate Ezreal deck twice. We, we won one time, and we lost that other time. Like, Level just once you level up Twisted Fate, that card's ridiculous. Once you level it up, reporting in. Uh, 
Um. Well, Demacia has a lot of really cheap protection spells, which is why I wanted to go with Demas for this deck, go Demacia with that. But um, Fiora, just, it's like an, another Fizz, basically. Like, you want either Fiora or Fizz, and you just protect them and try to win the game with them. Um, I am pretty dead, obviously. That doesn't help. That, that Mystic Shot won that game for my opponent. What's up, Pools? Like, we're all in on, on Fizz, and they had the Mystic Shot on turn two to kill it. And that was the game. Like I said, whenever we started this, this isn't going to be the best deck, but it's, it's an all-in deck. We, we can do some silly stuff with it. Um... I mean, just just keep practicing Scrub Lord. I mean, I don't think that that your old like the old decks are just not viable. Yesterday, I played two old decks on stream that only had two new cards each, and they were really really good. They were the two best decks that we played yesterday. Um, you know, if you missed those two videos, you don't need to just have new cards to to do well. Well, the, the two decks I played yesterday weren't meta, meta decks either. Did you check out those two decks? Um, you know, Sejuani Frostbite or Demacia Sacrifice. The Demacia Sacrifice was that was that was probably the best deck we played yesterday. That deck felt ridiculously good, <laughs> but I guess I need to title it better because I just titled it Demacia Sacrifice. All the other three videos from YouTube yesterday had over two thousand views, and that one had eight hundred. So I need to title that better, but that was the best deck we played yesterday. And that's that's just that was the best in my opinion, that's the best deck I've seen so far in just, you know, one one in a one day, one plus days. And that only had I guess it maybe had three new cards. It had like a, a common and two rares. So not much. Summon a Draggling if you cast two plus spells last round. Well. It's a good card. Because that just checks every single round start. Yeah, I mean, I like this two drop. No, that's, that's a good, good card for their deck. Do y'all think instead of Demacia Sacrifice, I should label that deck? Do you think I should name it Lucian Sacrifice? Because obviously my, my branding with that deck isn't very good. I used to call it Callisto Lucian. Do y'all think Callisto Lucian's better? Go back to that. Because that, that deck is really good. I'm going to be playing it a lot more, and so I should probably brand it better. Yeah, and this card has a tune also. Yeah, this is just a really good quality card. Your instinct speak. Oh, I don't have tough. I thought I had tough. I have radiant strike.
Didn't want to use spells on my Fiora. I got the standalones. Which obviously we'd be playing at least a little bit of a standalone. Oh no. Man, this card's really good. Yeah. I kind of want to play a four drop, but then that will turn off one of my standalones. Assuming they're playing Will of Ionia. Mm. I know it dying like isn't bad for me because of standalone, but also this thing hitting the opponent turns on pilfered goods. If we keep it alive for a little bit. That's really nice. Lots of new good cards here. Deep Meditation. Real awesome. Two mana draw two. Kill this thing, keep this thing from continually making new stuff. Uh, what was zero? Is that the thing I just killed? Oh, oh, zero. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, what is it? Yeah, well... That Ionia 2 mana draw 2 is going to completely change this game. Strike without worry. What's up, Fizz? Okay, okay. Fizz can hit them, you know, with Elusive maybe, and turn on this Pilfered Good so we get two cards. Maybe. so many cards uh, 24 left 
taking two isn't that big a deal. Yeah, this is Karma Ez. So they have less things that target, kind of, but I mean, they still got five targets for, for Ez. I'm not sure about this card, Claws of the Dragon. I don't know, maybe. Make it just a little more difficult to kill Fizz. Strike without worry. Get him, Fizz. Gotta play that pre combat. Want Fizz to hit him. Not only do we create the chum of the waters, but this helps out our pilfered goods. So I believe if I toughness, this won't actually do damage and it doesn't get rid of the barrier, I believe. Who knows if that's the case or not. What? I got rid of the barrier? Boo. What's up, Yud? Thank you. Thanks for working on the thumbnails. I know I'm going to have a lot more thumbnails for you. Now with a new set. All sorts of new decks. Monkey. Oh, no. Powder monkey. Boom. Opponent has all the cards. What do they want to do? So, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So, it is ten cards. They can't just pass, because otherwise they will... Um, you know, have to just completely discard. What else you got? A key Guardian? Oh, give me a Champion. Skill and grace to tear your breath away. Yeah. Strike without worry. So you do have to have an ally in hand to, to even cast Key Guardian. That's a bummer. It won't let me cast it without an ally in hand. Well, that's kind of a bummer. They don't know what they're up against. I thought you'd never ask. So now our Fizz has Elusive, so we, we're not going to just, you know, take damage from the Ezreal. Oh, Pilfered Hoods can't get champs? Oh, well, that card's worse than I thought. I thought you could get champs. It just says cards. That's a bummer. Could certainly be dead. Peace begins within.
Really wish I could cast this Key Guardian. Really wish that that Pilfered card would have got me any, like, one spell I could cast, but I can't cast either of these. What? No! What? Uh. Oh well, we're, we're probably dead just to combo kill here. What's up, Bowers? Yeah, I, I, yeah, timer, I just, I ran out of time, but it looks like it doesn't matter. I was dead. It doesn't matter what I did. Yeah, Bowers, I, I switched over to Legends of Runeterra, this awesome game. Uh, um. Yeah, I mean, they, they had a million cards because of that two mana draw two. It looks like Karma Ez got a lot more powerful. They had they had just a lot of, of good new cards for that deck. Especially that two mana draw two from um you know in Ionia there. That that card's incredible in that deck. Um that's a tough that's a tough one. That's a tough matchup too. So yeah, this deck's all in on Fizz and Fiora, and the thing is 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 Fizz doesn't end the game as fast as Zed does. Or as fast as the the other four three elusive does. It just it's more difficult to kill Fizz because of Fizz's ability, but it's just a lot slower and and yeah I, I didn't you know I talked about this at the beginning I think this is you know um, a little bit more of a gimmicky deck and I I didn't expect this to be the best um, but yeah like the you know we faced Ezreal control. A bunch and those decks have a whole lot of removal and that can make our life difficult we did beat an Ezreal control one time though that was our one victory yeah it's not necessarily a deck that i recommend here but you know wanted to try wanted to give it a try and you know play fizz in this way we'll be playing fizz again in the fizz elusives deck as well all right uh, those of y'all watching on YouTube, if you're having some success with some Fizz Fiora, let me know if there's something different with this list that um, you know, would make it more successful. You know, Feel free to let me know. There's just not another good secondary threat. Like, yeah, I, I don't know how to make this deck better than the Fiora Zed standalone deck. Feels like that version is probably better. Um, anyway, but yep, that's it here for Fizz Fiora. So thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.